Hello, welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of uh, two box sets. These are the uh, 500th store yes. opening store. We do have the badge as well, don't we? We do, actually. Um, I will find the badge for afterwards. Yeah, it's quite a large badge. It's, it's just this it's just symbol that. in yeah. Sim silver. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got uh, the Space Marines Primaris Lieutenant. Yay. With Stalker Bolt Rifle. And we have... Garakor, the Night Haunts, Blade Geist Revenant. Yay! Sweet! <laughs> he is a nice model, actually. Yeah. But I, I want to know why his box is bigger than my little piddly. It's about which ones are more important, to be honest. Um, what can you say? Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it'll be interesting when we open up and Yeah, find out it'll be interesting to see what's so, in there. So, Lady's Choice. We'll open the Night Haunt because I'm interested to see right. what's going on in there. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, the night one box, there we go. We'll try to keep the box as well. Yeah, it's, it's nice. 500th yeah. edition. But there's the back of the box. With little painting guys as normal. Mm -hmm. Celebrating 500 stores. Opening. Opening. Yeah. I like it too. I and a few of us, others of us were under the impression there was already more than that stores open in the world. Is it in the world or is it? It's in the world. Really? Surely there's got to be more than that. I thought there'd probably be 500 stores in Britain. Well, Everywhere I go, there's a game to watch. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I would, I would have thought surprised. most European cities would have had a store as well. I mean, certainly when we went to Rome, there was one. And so the, if it said like 1,000th store open, then they'd be like, oh yeah, funny. Yeah. 500, I thought there'd be more. Mm. I am surprised. Mm. Um, especially when the clothes one nearby recently. Yeah. I wonder if they kind that. I bet they haven't, you know. I bet they've forgotten. It's actually that. four nine nine because they closed the store. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right. Okay. So we have the book. Is there a base in there? Somewhere. Base. So we have this weird sort of offset. Thing. I don't know why the box is bigger then. It's just called that, isn't it? It's deeper, yeah. It's deeper, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, because it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. the size of this. Yeah. Whoa! That sticks out miles. Yeah. It's all one part. So should, this is a two part model. <laughs> That's amazing. Actually, that is amazing. The fact that it is a two part model. Unbelievable. That they've managed to sculpt put all that into one thing. Although it is my hunt. There's the assembly the instructions. Is it really? It'll be really difficult. Really complex. Put one part one. Yeah. Against part two. Whoa, that is. And he slots into the base. Oh, we might have to fathom out how to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure. But despite this isn't a, a scenic base though. I wish Probably it had not. been. No, it's just a base base. That's a bit naff. I mean, we've got like a tombstone that on. The parts because kind of yeah, but sort of make it into scenic base, but when you get full bases like it's a bit of a cop out, like, like, off, the, like off these guys, you get a cool base like that, especially with it being a 500 yeah. special edition. I'm know, picking um, holes now in a fantastic model, yeah. But you know, there we go. Uh, also, we've got rules on it for him as well, actually. Is it actually a different? I thought we were just going to replace that with either. Is he actually a, a character on his, in his own right? Uh, not just a character. There's the rules. Blade Geist Revenant. He's got a name. He's not just random. Any number one. of models. It's great Tomb Raid can fly. I'm sure that's just the normal rules. I'll check later, but there you go guys, that's what it says in there, just in case it isn't the normal rules. So you can compare it. I think it is. Having not had a box of these until today, um, <laughs> I haven't actually used them, so yeah, so spoilers, future unboxing. Um, anyway, there we go. So That's why it's so big though, because it's one part it's one... and it sticks out yeah. quite far. Which is kind of like what we said, wasn't it, with the cloak and that when we were looking at it. But I, I thought it would be because, well, he's quite tall as well. With the, with the sword. Yeah, there is the majority of the model. Um, we have two holes there, two holes there. Let's get a bit of glue. Okay. 
and then we can put that into that. Surprised it's not a one part model to be fair. There we go. Done. <laughs> Well, that took you a long time. Yeah, it's one of the most complex builds I've ever had to do. Wow, a bit like a gash. Oh, Alright, yeah, and the gash was easy compared to that. <laughs> Boom. That nice. is a fantastic model. Um, that is a nice model, I must yeah. admit. It is. I'm well, griping like, a bit with the I like his the, uh, sickle. I'm griping a bit with the senior base because we've still got like the tendrils and still got that to go on the base. Oh, there we go. That's amazing. That's very nice. That's very cool. I must admit, these Night Haunt models that are coming out, they are really, really characterful. They've got a lot of character in them. I think. As I opposed mean, to just being a skull on a stick. Kind yeah. Of thing. Do you know what I mean? They're in my top three. Major Sigmar armies. I don't know which is first. I love Iron Jaws. I just think the range is so limited. Yeah. I think that's all I said. If they had a better range, I think they'd be the best. But you've got like three characters and three units, of which two are new and one's old. It's, yeah. They could do with an update. Well, you've got it's been out for a long time. which I like. Garden Overlords, which I love, and these guys. <laughs> Those are my top three. Right, there we go. So, that's the model. I keep, I'm going to keep showing you this. You don't need to see the space screen at all, do we? No, so, I'll just do just, that let's, off. Let's just end the video. End, end yeah, the video, yeah. yeah. Right, well, thank you very much for watching. We're not going to see the uh, Space Marine because that's just... That's all. Awesome. ...trumped him, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> no, kidding. Um, that's the badge, by the way. It's quite a large bin badge. If anyone was interested. There we go. Um, so, let's have a look at the Space Marine. They're happy. <laughs> To be fair, from the, the box art, he does look pretty cool. Yeah, he looks cool because he's not got his, the top part of his helmet on. It's, it's a different kind of model kind of thing. Normally you get a space beam with helmet on or yeah. helmet off. Okay, so. Yeah, so just straight in the box. <laughs> I'll let you open it. If you haven't seen the model, there it is. And... Uh, See helmets half off, half on. And he's got the other part of his helmet in his hand. And literally just from the look on his face, he looks like he's about to beat someone to death <laughs> with his helmet. There well, we go. He's, he's gonna do a Kylo Ren. He's got <laughs> Prime Mammoth come round the corner and go, let's just turn around and go back, shall we? I feel like someone just comments on a stupid look on the mat. So he's just, <laughs> just smashing it around something. So there we go, that's the uh more traditional sort of space marines for And a large terminator side base as we keep going on it. And we have a little uh, ultramarines. Ultramarines, um yeah it's just ultramarines. Is it? Yeah. No crimson fists. Just ultramarines. Not interested. No blood engines, no space wolves, just ultramarines. Right, well, I won't be using that. <laughs> uh, so there is the sprue. So you have a cool little um, Auspex there. With the Stalker bolt on. And that's pretty standard looking. Punky head and the hand holding the helmet. So, that's how it's flat. And look at the instructions. And there's the rules for the Primaris Lieutenant. I imagine he's a Primaris Lieutenant. Pretty much the same as any other, I would have thought. Yeah, I think so. From yeah. memory. It's been a while since I've played for it. It actually. is actually, we've not played it for a long time. A long time. So many other things to play. Mm -hmm. and paint and build and film and uh, so two and one is first. That's yeah. So that's one. And here's two. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. Tape. And hold. Right, so one and two, back and front. Not a push fit kit this at all. Not that I think the Nighthawk one was, but it did have pegs in it. You probably could have pushed it in. Not I really always glig things. So there's part one and two together. We now need part three, which is the leg. Part four, which is the all specs. Part five, which is the holster and pistol. So there's the leg, part three. Let's turn it up. Where's that going? Alright, so that attaches behind the like that. Groove on the underside of the gun, which fits onto that groove on his leg. And it fits on that. So next up, we have part six, which is his gun and arm. Ten, which is the backpack. Nine, which is his head. Seven and eight, which is his other arms, and his hand holding the helmet, which is eight. There's the gun, there's his head, there's his hand, there's the arm, eight, and seven. There you go. Yep. I've also cut off the shoulder pads as well, so got eleven and twelve. So all that stuff off that. Okay, so let's get the put the, put the backpack on. I have to remember how to paint my crimson fists. You still got um, a couple to paint, aren't you? I have actually, yeah. You haven't painted your tank. I haven't. Repulsor tank. No. Shocking. I know. I know. I just got behind, haven't I? Yeah, that's one of the reasons 40k has taken a bit of a back step. Mm. Um, be a lot more focused on Age of Sigma, to be honest. We have, really, yeah. And other games. And we have the two part hand. And the oh. right, which side's which side? Uh, that's eleven. That's twelve. Eleven's on this side of the gun. Right, isn't it? Yeah. Seems to flow. And then 12, did you say? Yeah. Is there. And again, no scenic base. I think they deserve them, to be fair. They do, really. They've been such nice models. Well, especially. They've done themselves a disservice by not giving have them a scenic base. A little bit. Because they are so nice, these two models. Yeah. Especially for a Primaris Marine, I think. It's completely one of, different. One of the reasons I have never taken to the Primaris since the launch them is they're all the same. But all Marines are the same. But it never bothered me with the old Marines. Probably because they were smaller. I think the fact they made them bigger has made it even more obvious that they're plain. Mm. It's just never really stuck with me. It's like the original Stormcast. It never really stuck. I think the new Stormcasts have come out with the, the, the uh, 
But even when I've seen like Space Wolf Primaris and Blood Angels Primaris, two of my favourites, I've still been like, me. Mm. Just me. It's not going, it's not working for me. But there we go. This model would. This model's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I'm a bit jelly now, actually. No, 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 no. I am, actually. It's, <laughs> it's a really cool it model. It is a really cool model, actually. I think the fact that he's got half his helmet off and yeah. just the face mask on makes him look... I like that. Makes... Well, you kind of wonder whether he's he's got a face underneath that mask or whether it's scarred or... Yeah, the front part of his face. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know, why has he not removed the entire thing? I think he's just like... He started to remove it and he's seen something like an enemy or something's annoyed him. Yeah. And he's, he's going to go and beat them to death. He, 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 he does look annoyed in the picture because of the way he's looking over. He's like, yo, you're annoying me. Oh, that would be brilliant as a salamander. Sorry. You're with the red I've eyes. i lost him already. He's you're gone. with the red eyes. and they... oh. That would be the reason. You know, someone's seen like his face. <laughs> At all. It's a thought. I've lost me model. No. He would be a good salamander. Oh, here we go again. I've lost my model, guys. Bye the bye sudden model. resurgence of one to actually do some space runs. Nearly. Nearly Games Workshop. Right. Okay, there we go. So those are the two 500 store edition models. Both amazing, actually. Especially for a Prime R, so I'm really Man. impressed. I'm just impressed. And um, this one. Love it. Yeah, he's, he's cool. Then. He's so cool. He's a bit niche, if you think about it. A lot more people play Space Marines mm. than, than I think play Nighthorn. Yeah. So it's, it's an interesting one to pick for. Well, it's, it's for, different. For, yeah. for, for Age of Sigma. I'd have expected a Stormcast or a Chaos Warrior. Yeah, but then again, I think with the Nighthorn um, yeah. range coming out, they've probably wanted to keep up with that. So yeah. pique people's interest. No, no, I, I, t I totally approve. But I bet there's people out there that don't quite know. I think that's a nice model, but it's not. It's for not me. for me. I'll have the space Marine got... instead. Yeah, yeah. Although if you don't have Nightheart and you can get hold of this, it's as just a model to paint. Yeah. There's so much motion in this. It, you, honestly, guys, challenge yourself. Do something cool. Yeah. If you don't have Nighthawk, you can get hold of this still. Do it. Mm. Right. There we go. Oh, he's floated off. Yes. If, if, if I was admiring him. <laughs> right, okay. So that is the end of that video. Um, the next video up, I think... Uh, I do have an unboxing as I sort of slipped out. I do have some Blade Geist Revenants, which we've not done yet. Mm -hmm. Not new, but new to me. Uh, so we'll do an unboxing of that. Claire has actually taken a shine to the Fiery Dwarves. I have, actually, yeah. So at some point we'll be doing some unboxings. Actually, she's been painting the Chosen Axes. Yeah. Um, from Shared Spire. And she's kind of, she's got the leader there done. She's taking a shine to these fiery dwarves. So she might be getting an army of those next. So there we go. Maybe. So we've got a, a box for her to paint as well. So if she still wants to continue. <laughs> Other than that, uh, in the future, we've still got Fallout to do and to come. Mm -hmm. uh, that hasn't disappeared. It's just we're still painting stuff left, right and centre. Um, and what else? Um... Obviously, Shades by Shades by it. We need to Halloween's coming up. Uh, we will be doing a couple of Halloween videos. Maybe not as many as we usually do, uh, but we will be doing a few. We've got a board game to, sh to show off. Yes. And uh, a few other little bits. But um, there we go. Yep. So stay tuned for all that. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll see you again soon, guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.